Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas Eve. I hope everybody's enjoying their Christmas Eve. Hope you've already done your shopping and right now you're just wrapping gifts, drinking eggnog, listening to music, having fun with family. But what I was doing was watching Naruto, okay? And I was watching Naruto and that's shout out to Speed Eyes. First of all, shout out to Speed Eyes because he said that he's enjoying the Naruto filler right now because they had a video saying I wasn't I didn't like the filler. And I said that because I watched the, the filler episode with Yahiko and Conan and those guys and it was bad. It was really bad. Had Naruto taken out um he died. It was it was just like this isn't good at all. But you know, Speed Eyes said, you know, I'm enjoying the filler right now. And I, I've been hearing it um, on Twitter. And I saw some people, you know, uh, do reviews about it. And I saw a title. And I actually watched the, the review. It was, um, I guess, Sasuke or Shisui trained Sasuke. So I just took the time and I watched I watched the last three episodes. I don't remember the episodes. I think it was 43, 44, and 45. I, I think so. Don't, don't quote me there. But I watched those three episodes. And I can say they've been listening or they knew they were going to do this or that's why they started out so started out so bad because it was amaze balls okay it was it was really good first thing we they went back to what made naruto great okay it was the the, the the beginning the interactions the characters and they veered off in a different story because my issue was you could do anything with filler Right? This is a dream world. You could do anything and they've listened. So I apologize for the criticism I, I made about the filler um, weeks or a month ago because these three episodes I watched, I can't wait for next episode. So, okay, what's going on is they veered off from the story where um, Minato didn't die, Kishina didn't die, right? So we have Naruto's growing up with his dad. Sasuke is growing up with his dad because the, 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 the Uchiha didn't get killed off. Um, Itachi didn't leave the village. So all these things are still there. So they're showing the story as if everything had remained status quo. All those crazy things didn't happen. So Sasuke right now, he's growing up with Naruto. And you know at first Sasuke's issue was his whole clan got destroyed. His brother hates him. He has to revenge the clan or avenge the clan. Right now, Sasuke's issue is Naruto is too strong. So it's, it's basically shown that no matter what, Sasuke was going to go down a dark path. So Naruto and Sasuke, they got into it because Naruto veered off from the mission or whatever. But Sasuke, he's just really envious. First, he's envious of Naruto and he's super envious of Itachi because his dad does not acknowledge him in the same way he acknowledges Itachi. And this is the thing that I didn't like about these um, three episodes. Orochimaru says that he wants he wanted Itachi, but in three years he'd be out of his prime. In three years, Itachi should be around 20, 21. Uh, how the hell? Or even how would he be out of his prime at 21? That makes no sense whatsoever. And they kept calling Sasuke the most talented of their clan. And I don't think that's the case. Clearly, Itachi is more talented. But they kept calling it Sasuke that. That irritated me because I'm a huge Itachi fan. I'm not that much of a Sasuke fanboy. I like the guy, but I just think he's just too emo. So that annoyed me. Like, Itachi is the most talented. Like, stop it. Just, just stop right there. But the whole filler episodes, right? We had Naruto going off the train with Jiraiya. Um, Sasuke going to, um, to train with basically Shisui. And we have some Danzo, we have Jiraiya, we have uh, Minato coming in. Because what one of the best moments I saw was when, I don't know if you guys remember that Sasuke versus Naruto, the first clash with Rasengan and Chidori. The first clash with Kakashi had to throw them in separate directions. They switched that, they had the same moment, but it was Minato who had to stop them. Minato just jumped in there, teleported Naruto somewhere else, and put Sasuke on the ground. Sasuke made a medium-sized hole. Naruto made this huge crater, and Sasuke was just super jealous. That's what made him leave the village to go train with Shisui, because he, he found out that other than his dad and Itachi, Shisui was the third most talented. So Sasuke comes back to the village three years later. His dad makes him lieutenant on the police force. Basically, Sasuke turns into a tyrant and they start being overly aggressive as a police force. They, they, they cornered this grandma, okay? And this was when Naruto had just come back. Naruto steps in because everybody had gotten scared of Sasuke at this point. Naruto steps in, stops him. And after that, 
um, basically Sasuke and Naruto get into a small fight, Danzo shows up, they stop fighting. And Danzo says some slick shit to kind of um, bait Sasuke to come see him. So, so then these guys, right? Sasuke, he's kind of thinking, he's in a monologuing. These guys are like, yo, Sasuke, you can't let him do that. Because Naruto stopped them. You, you can't let him do that. Sasuke is like, yo, just leave me alone. Do what you got to do because you're a leaf hidden, hidden leaf um, police force as well. I can't, you can't depend on me for all the answers, Sway. So then, you know, these guys are dumb as hell because you go and you attack the Hokage's household. They go after Kushina. They're like, where's your son? We came for your son. And I'm looking at him like, are you idiots? So then Naruto shows up behind him. They didn't show that fight on screen because you know they were gonna get washed. They end up getting captured, arrested. Sasuke kicks off, kicked off the police force. Then he goes to Danzo. I mean, before Danzo met with Orochimaru, and that's when Orochimaru said the thing about Itachi. But then Danzo said, I can get you better eyes. And that's when they mentioned Sasuke, which was bullshit. It was bullshit. Danzo mentions to Sasuke about Orochimaru. He's part of, he wanted Sanin. You know, he's he Jiraiya trained Naruto, so it would make sense if Orochimaru trained you. But basically, the trade off is darkness. And Sasuke's like, whatever, I want power. You know, and they have Sasuke's, you know, his, you know, his um, OST that plays in the background every time um, Taka came on. They had that plan as well. So I really enjoyed this. It ended with Naruto or Sasuke about to leave the village. And he took out the two, you know, gate guardians or whatever you want to call them. Those two guys, you know what I'm talking about. He took those two guys out and he's about to leave. And I can't wait for next episode. I really can't wait for next episode. They took it back to the roots, man. They took it back to what you loved about Naruto. You see Naruto's playful nature, him being just overly like supportive. Because Sakura brought Sasuke some food and Naruto came along because he was training. Sasuke just knocks it out of her hand and it's like, yo, you're being a nuisance. Naruto jumps in like, yo, why you gotta do all that? Then that's when they were about to fight. And it just it was just so reminiscent and nostalgic. I enjoyed it so much. I had to make a video about it. I was like, ah. I have to review these three episodes because they were that good. So go watch these three episodes if you have not and you're watching this. Just go watch them. Let me know what you thought about the episodes because I thought they were really good. It's very well done. It's it's Naruto Part 1. That's what it is. Naruto Part 1. And I liked it. So let me know what you thought about it. Um, like the video if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That would be dope. And have a wonderful day, people.